Okay, once you have created your LinkedIn account, the next thing you need to do is to edit your profile. So currently, I am on what they consider my feed, or if you are just home, it's showing you all the posts from people that you follow, and of course, advertisements. To edit, I need to go over and click over here in this top left corner for my profile. Now, mine is already done, but I'll walk you through everything that you need to do to have a quality LinkedIn profile that can get you an A. So the first thing you need to do is add a picture. Now, I look stupid in this picture, but it's a picture where I am wearing mostly professional clothes. Um, I just have a weird smirk on my face. But you can add photo. You can do these on your phone. The buttons look a little bit different. I can edit the photo if I felt like. Um, and you just hit save. Like, no big deal there. Pretty simple. Okay, you also have to have what's called the headline. So, your headline, you can edit it with this pencil. Yours will already say student at Box Elder High School. So, you would need to edit. And then I want you to um, change it. Well, you don't need to change it. Yours would say student at Box Elder High School. And then what I want you to add right after that is saying uh, doing an internship at wherever you're doing your internship, third trimester or second trimester or first trimester of this school year. So one more time, be like for me, student at Box Elder High School, pursuing an internship at Box Elder High School in the spring of 2023. And that would be your headline. It's pretty simple. Okay. Now, let me get rid of that ad. A few other things that you need, and I already have them, but one is the About section here. The About section needs to be a little bit more thorough. So you won't have one yet, so you would go here, Add Profile Section. And then if, it probably would look like this, um, and mine's already there, I can't remember if it's in Core, but you would add your About here. It could be in Recommended, and you would click here. So it would be there. So let's pretend it was in the core. I hit About, and then it would open up my About section. In your About section, I need a little bit more detail um, about you, about your internship, and about your career goals. So let me pause this. Mine's not a great example because I'm not in an internship. Let me pause it, and I'll find someone that is. Okay, so I went and found Eden Emerson. She has a pretty good about section just right here. It says, I'm interning at Brigham Pediatrics. I chose to intern here because I really want to go into the medical field. Right now, I'm in anatomy and physiology 111. It's Bert, I love his class. It's so much fun to learn about the medical knowledge. He's teaching and his apply to life. The other people that I know, I love learning about all things medical. I think it's so interesting. I also love help people and solve problems, preferably not my own. So I think this internship is going to be perfect for me. So that's a perfect about. Um, it tells me just a little bit about what she's doing in her internship, um, why, why she was interested in it, and what she's going into as a, as a future career. So that's a that's a good one there. All right, one thing we are, oh, I didn't do this tool. One thing you need to do right at the start, and I skipped it, but that's okay. You need to connect with me. So in this search bar up at the top, once you've made your account, just type my name, Tom Davidson, and then box. You won't see me unless you type box because there's a ton of Tom Davidson. Once you click on me, it will take you to my profile. Um, and it's just me, because I am me. Um, but I'll click on that. And then you, right here in this section, you would see an option to connect. And I need you to connect with me. Um, and then I can see your work. OK, more about your profile section. So we have the about, the activity. Those will be your posts, which we're going to talk about 
but experience. So experience, you can go to the add profile section um, and in the core, once again, you can add education or add position. The experience is built on adding a position. So if you want to add an experience, um, like a job, you would add any job you've had in the past. Um, in, you, you know, Maddox, it doesn't have to do anything to do with your internship, but it definitely needs to be some experience. When you add the experience down here at the bottom, you're going to add skills. On your LinkedIn profile, you need to have specific skills that you have down here. I have 11 skills that I've chosen. Um, they're, they're all just different skills from the things I've done throughout my life. Um, but you need at least four. So once again, to add experience, it won't be there at first. It is on mine because I've already added it. For you to add experience, you go to Add Profile section, Add Position, and then you're ready to go. Then, once experience is there, so I have that I've taught here. I'm a work-based learning coordinator, track and field coach, science educator. Um, I could edit with the pencil. Anytime you need to edit something, edit the pencil. So, um, you can also hit Add. I should have done that, honestly. The plus means you add another experience, which you will have two, hopefully. Hopefully you've had a job before and you list that in some of your skills. And then at midterm, when we meet again, you're going to click on the plus and you're going to add your internship as part of your experience as well. So you would just go here, add position. Then you would say intern at Box Elder High School. This you would put internship, company name, location style, like you'll be on site when you started it and all that. And then you just hit save. And once again, you would add skills you've learned at your internship. Okay. Let me close all this out. Okay. Another thing that you need, and yours is easy and should already be done, but make sure on education, it lists Box Elder High School right here. If you've taken any concurrent enrollment classes, I would definitely add them just with the pencil, or sorry, the plus button. You'll already have Box Elder because that'll be part of setting up your profile. But to add anything like your other curriculum, you would just hit the plus button. All right, skills. Once again, skills, they come when you add your interests. They'll show up, but you can also just hit a plus and you can say teacher mentoring, um, and I have learned that here, and whatever. And then I would just hit save. And I'll just hit save because I do have that. Okay, then interest. This just pops up when you when you follow people. So um, the schools I went to Utah State. I work at Box Elder High School. Companies. The Utah CTE internships, Box Elder High School. This will populate itself. Okay, so I'm going to end that. That's the profile, but the other videos will talk about how to make the post that we need.